Want to build a clean, professional-looking website without writing a single line of code? Well, Google Sites makes it super easy. But if you've ever opened it up and thought, okay, what now? You are in the right place. In this video, I'll walk you through Google Sites step by step so you can go from blank page to fully functional website in no time. But first, what is Google Sites and why should you use it? Google Sites is a free beginner-friendly website builder that lets you create pages for businesses, portfolios, classrooms, and teams without any design or coding skills. It seamlessly integrates with Google Drive, Doc, Sheets, and YouTube, making it perfect for anyone in the Google ecosystem. And the best part, it's super quick and easy to use. So make sure to watch this video till the end, because by the end of it, you will be able to create, customize, and publish your own website, all with just a few clicks. So let's jump in and start building. The first step you need to do is to go to the Google Sites website, which is sites.google.com here, or simply do a quick search on Google Sites and it'll pop up right away. Now here, you can see that the interface is pretty minimalistic. So if you are a beginner, you won't find it overwhelming. You have some templates right here that you can choose from, or you can start from a blank site. However, I do recommend starting from a ready-made template and tailor it and customize it to your needs because building a blank site from scratch can take a lot of time. So here you can see some categories of templates, portfolio, family update, event, help center, and project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the family update, for example. And as you can see, the template loads up in the editor. Now you can scroll down and see that the template here does not align, of course, with your businesses, like product photos and your logo, your business name and everything. But don't worry, because we can edit each and every aspect of this template. So if you hover your mouse over any block or any part, for example, the body, the header of the website, you can see that a gear icon pops up, which is the setting, the navigation settings, and you can add a logo as well as here. If you hover over the image, you can add image, reset it, see the header type. And it's the same with any block here. However, with the type of block being different, the settings are different. So for this block, it's only a text. You can edit the appearance, duplicate or delete. And let's start from the beginning. So in the header right here, if I click on this text, let's say free stuff. Okay, now let's click to add a logo. You can upload an image. So let's upload one pretty quickly from my computer. I'm just gonna upload a random image. Okay, looking good. Let's close this. And as you can see, the logo is added. And let's say I want to change these menu items. So if I click on this gear icon, the navigation settings, I can edit the mode of the menu. If it's on the top or side, let's make it on the side. And as you can see, it's collapsed right now. I can click on the sidebar here to show the main menu items. And don't worry, I'll show you how to edit or add any to these later. Now, let's change this image. Okay, if you click on it, you can also delete it if you want to. However, we'll go to the menu here at the bottom. Click on image, click on upload to upload another random image from my computer. Okay, open. And as you can see, it's just a random image. And the cool thing is that it's if it's an animated image or a GIF, you'll see that is animated. Now let's edit the title. So free stuff website. Okay, and the subtitle double click here to highlight it. And as you can see, you get all the text editing and text format settings. So let's say learn awesome stuff for free. And let's highlight it here to change it to bold, change the color to red, for example. And for the free stuff for the main title, let's change the font. Okay, bold. Let's make it italic. Let's change the color to orange. Okay, we can add a link. So if someone clicks on this title, they'll be redirected to a certain website. Let's add a link, for example, to google.com. Okay, apply. Of course, you need to add the link to your own 
like a product page or your own portfolio if you want to now let's go ahead to another block so you can expand it you can delete it you can edit the color or the style you can add an image to it so let's upload an image okay another random image from the computer okay so for this text you can also edit the text and you can grab any section and like reorder them so i added that let's add it below this title so okay and as you can see it merged them into one big block however it's now below and you can edit these images as well this uh, like these links and these images this text so you get the idea now if you go here to pages from the main menu on the right you can see the menu items that are here the home family photos stories updates and so on if i click for example on the three dots next to home i can duplicate the page i can add a sub page i can see the properties of the page so i can rename it to my courses for example okay done and if i now go to the menu here and show the sidebar it's now my courses so here you can edit the menus i can go to my courses can go to family photos and now i can click on the three dots right here i can make it the home page instead of the my courses page i can duplicate the page click properties add sub page hide from navigation and delete so let's delete it i don't want it and if i go to the menu it's now deleted now if i go to themes as you can see it loads up some themes here that you can choose from let's choose this one for example and it'll change the website's look and feel to match this theme with its color and font and everything if you choose another one it changes once again now i want to show you how to add new blocks to your website so go to insert and you can add a text box you can add an image you can embed a link add a drive link and you can add different custom blocks and you can add button divider spacer social links and so on so let's add social links i do have social links here at the bottom i can click on edit footer in order to edit the footer here if i click on the social links now one click will get me the settings here if the icon sizes is large small if it's circular square or no shape if it's solid or outline if it's gray white or black and a double click will open the links themselves so i can add a link to my facebook to my instagram and to my twitter or now x and i can add links here to different websites if i want to now let's add a youtube block so you click on the block here and there are no videos available at the moment let's add an, an image carousel okay need to add images first let's add image you can select image or upload image let's so click on select and i can select from recent images my drive shared with me i can add links i can view google images search on google images and i can view the photos that i have so let's go to google images search for flower for example it's cool that you can search from within the google sites itself let's select this one this one and this one okay insert them and make an image carousel out of them and as you can see the images are now added the three images it's taking like a moment or two to load up and once it does just click on insert and your image carousel will be inserted here now um of course it doesn't show the images because one image failed to upload however you get the idea you can expand it or make it smaller and you can drag to move it around you get the idea now once you are happy with all the settings or all the changes that you have made simply click on publish and here you can add your web address so let's say free stuff and it'll generate a custom like url so sites.google.com slash view slash free stuff it's already taken let, let me add some random digits here just to show you or you can add your custom domain if you have a custom domain purchased now let's click on publish it's now publishing and now it's successfully published you can view it if i click on view and now your website is up and running and if you remember from the beginning i added a link to google.com here in free stuff website title if i click on it now no surprise it'll open google.com so this was like a tutorial a quick tutorial on how to use google sites to create your own website using easy templates or creating it from scratch with different elements and blocks